In episode 24 of Delicious in Dungeon, Laos and the group explore a new section of the dungeon. Chilchik stops everyone to discuss the age ranges of different species, sparked by his assumption that the mushroom transformation is temporary. If it were permanent, these mushrooms would be highly coveted in their world. Laos considers the idea of changelings and relates it to Fallon's situation, knowing it would be difficult for her to live among humans. He had hoped to entice Fallon into a changeling's ring circle, aiming to convert her lower half into a manageable form. However, their conversation is interrupted when the gargoyles returns. One gargoyle seizes Laos's sword, Kensuke, and hurls it between Chilchik and Marso, releasing a strange mist that they recognize as changeling spores. Chilchik recalls that Kensuke fell between their arms, forming a kind of ring. Marso devises a plan, she asks everyone to hold hands and form a circle, hoping a gargoyle flying into their circle would transform. Though things don't go exactly as planned, they manage to transform the gargoyle into a stone plate-like device. Same way, the second gargoyle transforms into a fountain. Laos discovers that washing off the changeling spores will return them to normal. However, it will take some time, so Laos asks Senshi to prepare a meal while they wait. Senshi suggests making dumplings, but Azutsumi hesitates to eat them. Senshi reassures her by pointing out that she ate hippogriff meat without any adverse effects. The group eats the changeling dumplings and then takes a nap. When they wake up, everyone is back to normal. The group then discovers an old yet functional train and decides to use it. While riding, Senshi asks Laos why he and Fallon became adventurers. Laos explains that he fled various societies during his teen years and took on odd jobs, while Fallon lived at a magic school. Fallon eventually left the school to join him, and they arrived at the dungeon island together. They tackled numerous jobs, met new people, and continued their adventures. Senshi then reflects on Azutsumi and Fallon's current forms. He mentions the red dragon meat they once had, and notes that some meat they ate in the past, didn't transform into a dragon. Senshi suggests that consuming Fallon's dragon parts might allow them to use their excretions to revive her to her normal state. Laos considers this idea, recognizing it would be a long process. Senshi proposes that Laos enlist the help of all his allies to complete this plan. Although unsure if everyone will agree, Laos is determined to try. He outlines his mission, first, they need to free the winged lion, then, use the lion's power to defeat Thistle, and finally, recruit help to consume Fallon's dragon parts. Meanwhile, Kabru, Namari, and Shuro entering the dungeon along with the canaries. And that's it for this episode and this season, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.